So I'm just like you, I love to catch smallmouth bass and I used to think I had to travel way up north to find them. Wrong. <laughs> Big, 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 big smallmouth. That's freaking huge. You can find smallmouth bass in creeks and pits all over the Midwest. Let's talk about the top three techniques that are guaranteed to get their attention along with a bonus technique that'll work if all else fails. God bless smallmouth and God bless America. dudes and my dudettes, welcome back. As always, we're gonna keep this simple, we're gonna keep this minimalist. These baits and concepts will help you catch more smallmouth. First, get comfortable with baits that allow you to cover water quickly looking for active fish. If I'm fishing a creek, I'm gonna start with a Z-Man Slim Swims on a simple ball head jig. The weight of the jig is gonna be determined by the depth and the strength of the current where I'm fishing. And this little guy will work on smaller fish, but it's big enough to get the attention of larger fish as well. Come here, you feisty little devil. <laughs> it's gonna take off. Goes. See you, bubs. If it's dead calm or if you're fishing really skinny water, you might downsize even further to something like a mule jig with a donkey tail. Both of these baits are gonna work on everything that swims. Come here, Nugget. That is a smallie. I love smallmouth. There we go. Another smallie. Thanks, buddy. After you find a few active fish, slow down work the area. Smallmouth love crayfish, especially larger smallmouth. So a TRD craw on a jig head is gonna be a great way to slow down and work an area after you found active biters. Ooh, 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 big smallie. I like to select a wave that's gonna allow me to hop and drag this type of presentation, to move it like a crayfish. I wanna make sure that this presentation isn't rolling along in the current. Somebody's got it, no. <laughs> hey, buddy. Now the third thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a couple of different jig worms and you're gonna wanna make sure they have scent and that they have salt. The TRD craw is a good bait, but it doesn't have either, so it's primarily a visual bait. A jig worm with salt and scent, something that tastes like it's alive, is gonna give you a couple extra seconds to set the hook. Good smallie, good smallie, strong fish. Good one, nice little stream smallie. Now, when you try one of these, don't be afraid to go with a lighter jig head. Put something on that's gonna actually tumble in the current, something that's gonna move along. Test it, see if it works. I actually really like to do this with Z-Man hula sticks from time to time, especially if I've seen little pin minnows and things like that in the area. There we go. Right away. Oh. Hey, bud. What'd you think of the hula stick? Okay, there's two, and I got about 10 minutes. So we're gonna cast over here again. See you guys. I'll also keep a few Strike King Ochos on hand and the smaller size. If I'm looking to toss something around wacky, I'm gonna look to the Ocho before I look to the hula stick. That hula stick is gonna float. That Ocho, though, is gonna sink without adding any additional weight to it. So with just a few baits, you have a lot of versatility. That's a small mount. Yes. Look at that pretty little fish. That's awesome. Finally, if you're in a situation where you can care for live bait, grab some leeches. Smallmouth cannot resist an easy leech, and in my opinion, they're hardier than night crawlers. That means you won't lose the meat on your jig or underneath your bobber to panfish or to a sudden movement. I got a small mouth. You want to get a net? Nice. It's fat. Obviously, the downside with live bait is that it gives you another task. It gives you something else to keep track of. You have to take care of your live bait. So if I'm walking the bank, I usually try to avoid this to minimize what I have to carry. However, if I'm fishing out of a boat, this is a must-have option. Ooh. Oh, nice smallie. Oh, that's a nice smallie. 
Oh, nice smallmouth, Dad. That thing's freaking. It's a big one. That's over three pounds, I bet. That's been caught before. Yep. 18 incher. You want to weigh him or no? I don't care. <laughs> I'll let him go. So that's what's really been working for me. If you think I missed something, please make sure to let me know. And if you're fishing in Illinois, make sure to check out this video on my favorite baits for bucket mouths. There we go. Good one. He smells kind of good one. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Knuckles. Here's another one to check out. And until next time, tight lines, let's keep getting better. Thanks. See ya.